at the most basic level, what act, what is the special forces? Is it a division of the army? It is. We hear this term like green beret, but what does that actually mean? A green beret, that's what we wear on our head. It's sort of the slang term for a special forces soldier. A special forces gets thrown around a lot, but yeah. in reality, the only special forces are army. It is the army special operations, you know, one of the special operations units. The rangers are also a special operations unit. The SEALs are sort of the Navy special operations. You know, there's Marine, uh, MARSOC it's called now, uh, used to be Marine Recon. Um, there's Air Force uh, Pararescue and Combat Controllers. There's all these special operations units, but the only special forces are Army. And, um, and what makes them special? <laughs> <laughs> they started uh, in the early 60s. And so the first war was Vietnam that these guys were going to. Every mission is conducted by with and through indigenous forces, indigenous people, really. So you're, you're going, if you're going to Iraq and Afghanistan in the current war, you are training, fighting alongside, and, and even living with uh, Iraqi and Afghan forces, uh, which was very unique. And it eventually evolved into what most units were doing when it turned into a train advised assist mission later in the war. But in Vietnam, like these guys would be in fully embedded uh, with these Vietnamese folks trying to, you know, fight the Viet Cong. And sometimes it would just be, uh, you know, a, a couple of guys and, and hundreds of Vietnamese soldiers and they're training them and like living with them and then going on missions with them. Wow. You know, there's one story I was just reading about recently, uh, the most recent Medal of Honor recipient, his name's Paris Davis. He was in, in Vietnam. Uh, he was, a, he was a, a black special forces soldier, one of the first. And I believe in his mission, it was four of them, and they were leading, you know, platoons of Vietnamese in this in this battle. And I can only imagine what that's like, what that was like. It's very different than even now, but but still today, what carries over is that foreign internal defense, you know, idea. Un, un, unconventional warfare, which means a lot of different things, but foreign internal defense is that idea that I was talking about, where you are assimilating to the culture, you learn language, and then you train in tactics that make sense for that part of the world, the resources or lack of resources they have, oftentimes a lack of education and training, and you do what you can, but you're trying to build uh, a military that's sustainable on their own. And it's very difficult, obviously, and, right. you know, and oftentimes it fails. And, uh, but that's what, the, that's what the intent is. If you enjoyed this clip, we've got more where that came from. Be sure to check out my full conversation with Nate Boyer. And one of the best ways you can help support us is to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss our interviews and short videos as they come out each week.